I think most of us thought that showing your boarding pass was a security mm. measure and absolutely. didn't realise the connection to VAT. I had absolutely no idea. And I think it's one of those things, when you go into an airport, I mean, you're asked to do some really odd things. You take your shoes off, you take your belt off. You're in a quite a compliant state. And I think it's one of those things. I mean, I must confess, a couple of times when I was buying a packet of tissues in Boots or wherever, <laughs> I did wonder why I was handing over my border, boarding pass. But I did just assume, you know, as a good citizen, you do it. If it's going to help security, that's a good thing. Yeah. And I had no idea until this was highlighted <clears throat> that actually it was all about VAT. And I think that, you know, it's, this is really important because this is about being clear with consumers. And I think in this day and age, shops can't get away with, with being fuzzy about these things. They really should be clear about why they're asking for something like a boarding pass and what VAT they're paying or indeed not paying. So do we know what will happen if, we go, if someone's going to the airport today and they refuse to show their boarding pass? I mean, are, are the shopkeepers, or not, it's not necessarily the shopkeepers, are the people in the shops prepared for them not to start showing their boarding passes and to make the protests like Richard's saying? I mean, I certainly know, for having had a quick look around, that there are lots of people who are not showing their boarding passes. Mm -hmm. And the response from the shops seems to be a bit mixed. In most cases, they seem to be saying, well, it's fine, you know, kind of it's our policy, but it's fine. A couple of people apparently have been refused. I, I mean, I have to confess that I think this is a really surprising tack for the shops to take, because why would you turn someone's customer away when it isn't actually a legal requirement for them, mm. as we now know, to show a boarding pass? And I also think once it gathers some momentum, which it has been over the last few days, it would be actually tougher for the retailers to say, we insist on seeing your boarding pass. Do you know, if, if there is a, a, a VAT rebate sort of available here, how do you navigate that as, as the person who's paid the price? Can you say, I want two pounds off that book, please, because I know mm. that that's, you know, VAT that you shouldn't be charging, or do you claim it back? Or well, how, how, do you, how does that it's work? It's interesting, because if you are, as, as we saw on the film, if you're flying outside the European Union, then the shop doesn't need to pay VAT on your purchase, and that's why it wants to see your boarding card. Now, uh, Technically, the price is what's called an invitation to treat. So if you agree to buy something at that price, that's where the contract is. Mm -hmm. It's not saying this must be sold at this price. I mean, that's why we can all get discounts if we try and haggle. Well, some of mm -hmm. us can anyway. You know. Should we haggle but, over VAT but, then? But yeah, I mean, I, I actually, I have to say, I, I think that the shops should not charge VAT um, if you are flying outside the, or travelling outside the yeah. EU. And, I mean, apparently some of the retailers were saying, well, this is very complicated, but I cannot believe it is beyond the wit of the mm. retailers to have a button that if you show your boarding pass, which if you're travelling outside the EU, it will be within your interest to do so, and it says you're going outside the EU, button comes up, and it, sh it, it shows a price minus VAT. Yes. Now, they... Retailers give discounts all the time for all kinds of reasons, you know, battered boxes, because you ask for one. So I think this is eminently possible. And the fact that the government has now weighed in and says, actually, they should do this and they should not charge VAT if you're travelling outside the EU, I think we may see some changes coming.